Hey Taurus, this is Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to do your next three months love reading or whatever else might come up here. Um, this will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please do click the like, share, and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. If you are interested, I also have another channel called House of Virgo. If you are interested in a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart somewhere, those are daily readings. All right. So Taurus, let's take a look and see. We're going to start the top row. This is three months. So this is going to be for June. You have the third eye chakra, fulfillment of wishes and deception and envy. July. You have solar plexus chakra. Well, you have your intuition. You have material harvest. In August, you have shadow. You have balance. And you have prosperity begins. Okay. Let's take a look here and see what your little fortune messages will be. The overall messages for you before I get into your reading. Okay. You have challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Okay, what else do you have to say for Taurus for the next three months? Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. This will make you feel better. Sorry, I'm going to try to show you. Okay. And then you also have Personal riches, small successes are likely now, and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes. Okay, so those are your three messages here to start your reading. Let's take a look at the month of June. So you've got third eye chakra. Okay, um, there's an energy here of like a lot of intuition going on here. You have it happening in June, you have it happening in July. Okay, so what will come up for you in June is there's like this high level of consciousness. Some of you are just opening up your third eye. You've accomplished it. You've been able to do it. Um, it's also a six. So there's change, but there's harmony. There's a sense of appreciation. There's some self-sacrifice, loyalty. There's responsibility. Six is the love card. So this is kind of like the all-knowing thing about your heart it may be like you have a trust in yourself like you're getting those spiritual messages they're downloading your your understanding that love is going to come to you all of the things that you need i mean i just really feel like you're coming in tune look and you've got temperance here sagittarius energy so it's like in divine timing that's what i'm feeling here you're tempering yourself your third eye chakra is allowing you to do this it's giving you insight into um again harmony balance patience self-control and moderation which is very good so you're going to have that overall sense in the month of june where you just feel like you just you're trusting it's going to come to you third eye chakra is like i see without really seeing but you see okay um you also have fulfillment of wishes coming up for you here which is the nine of cups so there's an energy here of like material abundance good health you you've got some wishes here that are coming true um this is like the cornucopia opening up that treasure chest you know you're gonna it's going to unlock if it was locked in the past, it's going to unlock. There's going to be a revelation. Of like There's going to be like enough. You'll have enough food to eat. You will have enough. Um, all of your bills will be paid. Um, there will be extra spending money. I know these are material things. Like your car will be um, running well. Or, you know, you, 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 you get to the bus stop to catch the bus. And you don't have to wait. The bus just shows up like right away. You're basically going to hit like green lights. Every time you get up to the light, it's going to be green. It's just going to free flow the whole the whole ride. <laughs> so that's symbolic, obviously. Like maybe you will. I mean, it's kind of like a blessing. It's like finding you know twenty dollars in an old coat pocket or a fifty, or you know like a massive amount of money. This this is like every the you're driving down the road and it's like all the lights are green. 
you know, and the person who's with you is like, is this really happening? Like, it's going to be that sense, okay, happening for you in June. Like, are things all coming together? The Queen of Cups, yes. You know why? Because you're trusting yourself. You're getting in tune with, you know, you're, you got that healing energy. There's a lot of supportive energy around you, okay? It's, it's not just happening for no reason. It's very, it's, it's not a coincidence that everything is coming to you in divine timing, the right timing for you. And you know, you just know. And June, you're going to be like, wow, I trust. I know it's coming. Now, you also have deception and envy. So there's, um, you might come into, this This doesn't feel like from somebody else. This feels more like, it, it almost feels like too good to be true in the month of June. And you're going to question, am I being deceived? Am I deceiving myself? Okay. There may be somebody connected to you who sees all this abundance and these wonderful things coming for you. Um, whatever these wishes are, could be, for some of you, could be wishing for a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Whatever these wishes are, there may be somebody who's very envious of you. I just need to say that. Okay. It's a Queen of Swords, it's an air sign. Point blank period. This is a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's not you. I mean, part of it is like you will feel like this is too good to be true and then take up that Queen of Swords energy and say to you and like slash those negative thoughts. Okay. And also there is somebody here who's going to be very envious of a relationship or all those green lights you keep hitting. Okay. And this person, um, you know, the Queen of Swords... <laughs> If she's in the reverse, she could be nasty. Like if, she, if when the Queen of Swords, she could be very cold, rigid, logic, like have rigid logic, dishonest, and unkindness. I see her in the upright, but you want to be careful because it could be underlying motives with this person. It could be coming at you um, upright with like, you know, a good person just being total honest with you, self-sufficient, but like underneath, underneath this person's like got a mask and they're like lifting up their mask and saying like there's jealousy and envy here of all these like some really great things i don't know who this person is to you male or female it could be envious of a friendship that you have with um someone who is very nurturing because it's two females very nurturing and warm and servant-like and loving and caring um, there could be jealousy over that connection male or female it doesn't matter okay so June is kind of like <laughs> green light go. And then you've got some people who are just going to be like, wow, you know, Taurus is ascending and it's pissing us off. It's pissing me off this. I'm very envious and jealous. Okay. So let's take a look here at July. You've got solar plexus chakra. So this is an energy of power. You're like, oh, oh I can. I'm going to keep going. Vitality, willpower, your self-esteem and confidence are very high. Okay in the month of uh, July. Like, what the heck is going on for you here? Okay, you've got the Three of Pentacles. This is like, I'm building, I'm creating, you know, I'm working on my craft, I'm building myself. You know, you're in a, like this really great uh, position, maybe you have a new job, there's teamwork, collaboration. You know, you've got all the vitality and the power, the strength of the bull to, pr to not procrastinate and keep it going. Okay, and this is like your physical energy, your physical self. This is like whatever you're putting into what you're building or creating or writing or designing or, or making. Um, you know, some of you are going to school and like you're putting your physical energy into that. Some of you are going back to school. Well, actually, maybe in July, you might be taking like certain kind of classes in July or something, but uh, maybe you're thinking about it, but you're planning it out like it's physical work right? So it's very good, right? It can be marriage as well. The Three of Pentacles is a card of teamwork. So some of you might actually be really putting an effort into a marriage or a commitment or a relationship. And you also have intuition. Um, this is like the Two of Pentacles. It's in, well, it's not just the Two of Pentacles. It's more like the High Priestess. It's kind of like you're trusting yourself. Like you're really like, I don't even know. You're, you're just in such a good place something like you've hit rock bottom you're like i can't depend on anybody like in other words you can but you're just kind of like i gotta trust myself first i have to trust spirit i have to trust god to lead me to keep me going right to get to my nine of um material harvest here i have to be able to get myself like 
Some of you are getting some acupuncture, some of you are getting some spinal surgery, or you're getting some needling done, or cupping, coupling or something, some getting some stuff done on your back. Um, that's just going to release all that energy for you. Um, you're trusting, like some of you might be a little like, oh, I gotta get this back work or something done. It could be a, like, <laughs> Maybe you're going to school to be a chiropractor or a spinal surgeon or thinking about it and like putting your energy in it. Some of you are just, you know, getting some work done. Uh, some of you just hitting rock bottom in areas of your lives. And, you know, you're just like, I'm letting spirit lead me through. And I feel like this is more like up here. These are all gifts that were coming to you. But because you receive these gifts in the month of June, it's got you believing now even more. You've been given grace. You're given grace. That's the only thing I can say that's happening. This isn't somebody coming in and giving you grace or giving you like a free ride. You're getting grace. And people are envious of people when they get grace because they're like, they don't understand it. But it's because you, you called it in. You called in to have this. And now that you received, now that you've received it, now you're in this place like, wow, now I trust. Now I know because I called it in and it came to me. And now you begin to reap all the benefits here on earth, material harvest. You start um, getting everything that you want and everything that you need. Everything starts filling up for you. Like I was saying, the fulfillment of wishes here. And these are emotional wishes. These are things that make you feel good. Okay, so your material harvest, is, it's kind of like a sense of like, you know, luxury, you know, you're feeling like you've got financial gains, you can enjoy your life now, feeling prosperous in your life. Okay, and the seven of wands, defending that, holding on to that, not letting that go. July is kind of like, you you know, June, you get that grace, and it's like, this is what we're giving you, you can do this. And, and July, you're like, yep, and you actually start putting things into practice in your life prosperity begins i mean you know having a love relationship is not exactly always the payoff i mean i think you've got something bigger or wonderful going on here right um the shadow side the shadow is that's the devil i'm sorry the moon there's things coming up here on um, there's voluntary changes is trusting your intuition again you have so much intuition energy playing out here and you know, things are going to start becoming more revealed to you going forward. Um, you're gonna, things are going to start coming out. Let's take a look here and see. Five of Swords. Okay, some of you are actually going to wake up to maybe you've been in some kind of abusive relationship or a relationship that was not healthy for some of you. Some of you are going to wake up to your own behaviors. Okay, um, things are going to start being revealed. Right. And, and whoever is in the position of being kind of like a bully or there was like abuse or something, um, this person, whomever you are, this person, there's like they, they start making changes in their life here. They start seriously like voluntary changes They're not getting locked up, no, you know, or even if they were like, that's not what's making them make these changes. OK, things spirit is just beginning the moon at the night of the moon. Somebody here is a big Ozzy Osbourne fan. I just heard Bark at the Moon. There's like these um, things coming out. The shadow side. This person or somebody here is just really seeing things. You know, the moon, you know, that's when I was saying Bark at the Moon. <laughs> so funny because on the moon card, there is a wolf and then there's a domesticated dog. And it's like, you know, walking through the shadow side is the the... The, the wild untamed aspect of self and then the, the domesticated side is like the civil and they're, they're always a, they're always a contrast you know and the shadow side coming out is the side that's opposite of how you usually are how this person usually is and then the changes begin to happen you know there's a balancing act with the moon and the sun right so they they kind of take turns like the two of pentacles and I, i'm saying that again and i don't know why i feel like i need to say that you know because he's balancing the sun and the moon okay it's pentacles but there's always a turn there's a time and a season for things and i feel like now the time and the season is for change and the veil begins to lift here okay so we've got balance which for august this is justice king of cups okay 
Well, all I can tell you, justice being served, it has something to do with um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay? Um, the King of Cups represents a very supportive leader, someone who's tolerant and empathetic, um, a do right um, on justice, making things right, um, having this energy of like truth telling, okay? Coming out with the truth, being honest, despite any fallback, despite any, it's just a cause and effect trying to have a win-win solution. And this is like being fair, okay? Um, so there's an energy of fairness here, but it's also about a, a legal situation. It could be a legal marriage or a divorce, okay, for some of you in August. But it, it may be yours, it may be that person, but it's kind of like it's the 1-1, one, one, 11, right? Actually, right here, you've got 1-1-1, one, one, one. so one eleven. I don't know, you may have been, maybe you're seeing that now, right now, or you're looking at your clock, or it's the time, I don't really know, it's like, I think it's 15, 55, 15 minutes, but maybe you'll see that in August, or I feel like for some of you, that number's going, that's your angel numbers, that's a, some, for some reason, like in August especially, it feels like you're going to need some kind of protection or something. Um, you're being guided, your angel guides of protection and understanding that wherever you are right now, um, it may be a king of cups coming in to help or just it's very symbolic in your life in August, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, this person is like a solid rock. They're like a lighthouse on on the rock and the, and the waves swirling and crashing around them, but they may remain steady in the emotions, okay? That person will be significant to you in um, August. Now, you've also got Prosperity Begins. So um, this is kind of... Ooh. Hold on a second here. You know, I, I kind of feel like... Um, It feels like um, I want to. I want to say like prosperity begins. Like it does feel like there's like some new income, or but they both have their hands on each other. So I feel like this has more to do with like being inspired in love. Okay, um, there's so the one is always about beginnings and initiation, leadership, leadership of self courage and willpower but this is like for two people here there's a coming together here but there's also this like growth and it does feel like there's an energy of like there's somebody there's a new project perhaps or inspired to begin a new project um are having an urge to create something here in a love relationship or in your life in general having a new beginning and a new start it feels like like roots are being planted and there's fruits of the labor on that tree. Look, the roots are going deeper. And that tree is giving off fruits. Peaches. Maybe you like peaches. Or you live somewhere where there's peaches. Are you planted a peach tree? Okay, got the emperor. Wow, Aries energy. Some of you might be connecting to a father figure. Could be an Aries. Someone's a bold leader. This person is uh, like respectful, is a leader. Like I said, strategic planner. Um, it could be your father, your brother, or a gentleman. Um, if you're a female coming in as a romantic partner, this is somebody who's got that alpha energy. The emperor embodies all of the kings, okay? So he's very supportive. He's solid and practical. He's um, intentional in his speak, speech, intentional in his speak, um, very strategic, um, but he's powerful, charming, and courageous as well. So he's got like everything. Um, he's a good influencer, okay? Maybe some of you are going to become influencers. Are you creating a YouTube channel or doing something influential in your life, okay? Um, this king, I will tell you what he is not. He is not abusive. He is not jealous. He's not corrupt, and he's not a bully, okay? I'm this emperor, not this king. So, you know, if any of those knots um, resonate and you think that's your love or your twin that's not this person is above board and up and open okay they're going to have a huge influence if not you being it, you embodying the emperor it could be somebody else will have a huge influence on what your your growth 
in August, some, maybe sometime at the end of August, you've got like some massive growth here in which to create. Okay. And you know, even if it's you, no matter what, you're going to boss up in what you're trying to do here in your love life or in your life in general. All right. Let's get a couple of angel cards to see what your messages are. Okay, you have this six of earth. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely and paying off a debt. Sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. You also have um, the nine of swords. There's a bit of unfounded fear. Expecting the worst. Thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Remember that seven of swords. That very well could be deception and envy. It could be like... That's that sneaky, demonic energy coming in and telling you it's too good to be true. It's happening. Don't listen to it. Take your sword, embody the queen of sword, male or female, and just slice that right down the middle and say, nope, don't give it any strength to grow. Okay? Allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights. Refocus your thoughts. Okay? You have some really good stuff coming in here for you these next three months. Let's see what else. Okay, Knight of Cups, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, maybe somebody fickle. There's an energy of falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair coming to you during the summer, it's like a summer romance. Um, there could be a lack of balance in a relationship. Situations or topics may make your heart flutter and someone with a love of art and poetry. I'm not sure why the Knight of Cups comes across as a lack of balance in the relationship, um, maybe because this knight comes in with this overflowing of love. And for you, Taurus, it might feel good, but it's like you might be looking at, looking at this person with a crooked eye. Like, okay, chill out. <laughs> or something like that. You know, what's going on? Oh, yeah. You got the Seven of Swords is here again. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. Some of you, this could be a lover coming in and you might just not believe it. But I also feel like there could be some jealousy or someone who's like not supporting your successes and all the good coming to you. But it also could just be yourself um, because you might want to run. Some of you might have a fear of success. Pay attention to that. If you don't know what that is, look it up, read about it. Because I see you being very successful here in love and other areas of your life. So much so that people are envious of you. Which, that's a shame. But it is what it is. Don't bother with them. And all right, Taurus, good luck. I hope you have a wonderful next three months. And I'll speak to you very soon. Take care.